guys, welcome to another video. So last night, six o'clock um, UK time, Jeffree Star's new range launched. It's the Jawbreaker range. So I couldn't resist because I love his palettes. Um, so I placed a little order. Um, I've took my dress off there. Um, but you know, it came this morning. So, you know, amazing, amazing service. I've not even opened it yet. So I'm gonna open it now with you on camera. Um, but I got a few bits from the range including the palette and I thought I'd just do an eye look for you and test out all the products um, So I got a nice little hole here Okay, I'll just dig in and show you the items one by one and then we'll get on and do my makeup So I've been wanting a mirror for a while of his so I couldn't resist when I saw the jawbreaker one so I just I just went for it. I thought, why not? Let's get the let's get the mirror. What I'll do as well, just to make it a bit easier, because I have got like lip products and a highlighter, so that you know you can you get in the relevant shade. I'll put a link in the description below um, to all the products in this video. That way you can go ahead and purchase them. Some of them may be out of stock now. I haven't checked, but if they are, um, they do generally do uh, come back. So you could always save, uh, you know, the page for later. Um, but this is the mirror. It comes in a lovely box. I'm not showing you the mirror side because it'll blind you, but this is it. How cute is that? So cute. So yeah, I'll be using this today to do my eye makeup and it is a really good quality mirror. I can see, see myself really well in it. I think it's better than this one, which I got from Primark. Yeah, it's definitely a better quality mirror than this one from Primark. This one probably needs a clean, but yeah, this one's definitely easier to see in if that makes sense. So that's the first item. I also picked up the Jawbreaker palette because I just had to. Um, I'll open you, this up and I'll show it you. And I'll do some swatches. And then I have got a lip product and a highlighter product which I will use towards the end. And again, I will show you the colour on. Um, so this is the palette and it's got a mirror which I'm not going to show you due to getting blinded but how stunning is that palette. I'm going out today as well so I'm going to make a look that's going to be suitable for going out. Um, so yeah that should be interesting with these colours. It's a good mix. There's um, quite a few shimmer shades. You've got one, two. So I'll just point to all the shimmers. So you've got one, two, one, two, three, four five six shimmers i believe and then the rest are mattes so you've got enough to sort of cover your shimmers as it were but it is good that it's mostly mattes because mattes are so much easier to work with oh, i'll not say that one because it's a naughty word but look at this one i don't know why it's a naughty word but it is but yeah i'm not going to say that out loud um but yeah that one that one is stunning um oh, do you know what it's like christmas i absolutely adore this palette so before we get started i've just done some swatches so from the yellow upwards these are all the matte shades and then look at those metallic shades oh my goodness they are so shimmery they are so pigmented and i'll probably end up with a stained arm if i'm honest because those are incredible um so yeah let's get on and get it on my eye okay so i'm just gonna do a really quick look just because if i'm honest i'm in a rush because i'm going out so i'll do a really quick look because i want to obviously fit in the eyeshadows the lipstick and the um highlighter so the first color i'm taking is this color here which is cute and i'm just putting this on the majority of my eyelid and it is really really pigmented okay so that is the first color down look how pigmented that is so so pretty so the next color i'm going in with is this bottom dark blue like a navy blue shade 
and this one's called delicious if i get to a rude one i'm not saying it <laughs> just putting it out there and i'm just using that on the edge just to sort of deepen the edge of my eye look and at the minute i'm just packing on the product i will um blend it once I've got it sort of deep enough and just with the leftover um, shadow that's on my brush now I've sort of worked it up to a, a dark level I'm just going to use that to sort of sweep across the rest of my, uh, my eye across the mint bit just to sort of blend it out And then I'm going to get a blending brush and just blend that properly when I can find one. As I say, this is just a quick look. It's not a specific kind of a look. That'll look better once um, I do the rest of my eye and it sort of comes together. So I'm just going to take a very thin line of the same blue across the top but very very thin just chase tracing the outline of the mint okay so that's it a bit deeper i will blend this in a second but i'm going to go in with another color over the top and then i'll start the blending process so the next color i'm going in with is this color here which is cherry wet and i'm just gonna go over the outside but very, very close to the blue, almost overlapping. And this is one of these eye looks that looks crazy till it's done. You just have to trust that it'll, you know, turn out good in the end. So this is where we're at. So I'm going to go and blend this all in and then if I need to I will add colours back into it if it goes a bit uh, muddy or anything I will add more colours back in so I will get it right. Okay so that's my eye blended. I'm just going to do my under eye um, concealer and then I'm going to um do my under eye eyeshadow okay so i'm just taking a really small brush and i've got some of the mint shade on my brush and i'm just gonna do my under eye I've gone most of the way across with the turquoise and I'm just going to do a bit of dark blue in the very out cor outer corner and just blend it into the other part of the blue so it all sort of ties in like so. I'm going to go ahead and do my other eye and also do my base and then i'll come back to you and i'll show you the highlighter the lipstick and then we'll be able to see the finished look okay so um i finished off my face i just need to do um highlighter and lipstick so we've got these so the highlighter that i picked up is in diamond wet it was like the palest shade they had and generally I am quite pale um, for some reason I've put on a darker um, foundation today and it's a bit too dark for my neck as you can see but I was planning on tanning so I've got a darker one anyway I digress this is diamond wet and oh, it looks amazing let's swatch it it looks like molten metal in the pan oh just look at that absolutely stunning i know i say that about everything but it really is stunning um let's get this on my face i absolutely cannot wait for this um so i'm just going to use my trusty zoeva powder looks brush 
and oh I need my mirror I'm just really excited for this oh, it is it's like pure glitter oh my gosh it's a good job I'm going out tonight and I'm not like going to work because it is just actual chunks I think I um, insulted another highlighter recently saying it was glittery I take it back that one wasn't glittery this is glittery I'm not sure if it's showing up on camera all that well but this is just like pure chunks of glitter it is insanity and I really wish I hadn't put it up my nose before I realised because it is just pure glitter see if this shows up on camera I mean it's showing up it's showing up the shimmer I'm not sure it's showing up the glitter oh, you can see it on my upper lip can you see all the glitter yeah so this is if you like a glittery highlighter this is the highlighter for you um, I feel like I've just put glitter all over my face and I'm going out and I feel like it looks a bit daft but it would be stunning for like festival, a festival look or you know if you're going clubbing and stuff it would look really nice but maybe not go into the corner shop if you know what I mean because it is just really 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 crazy maybe maybe not in a bad way just in a like I've got glitter on my face way I'm trying to blend out the glitter but I don't know how you blend out glitter I'm just being deaf right anyway um I will use this but I will use it on nights out I certainly won't be wearing it to work but yeah I do really like it it's just it's very in your face if you get me but I'm going out of an evening so you know it doesn't sort of show up quite as much when it's not daytime so that will help I'm just going to try and blend it out a little bit with my fingers see if that dulls it down a bit I mean I'm not I don't mind the fact that it's um, glittery and I don't mind the fact that it's really highlighty it's just a lot for where I'm going today but never mind and um, so moving swiftly on anyway from that we have the lipstick and the lipstick is um, I picked up the fully nude one and let's have a look oh that looks like a gorgeous shade so let's shake fully before you so I'm gonna give it a good shake and I'll just give you a swatch Mm, it's a lot darker than I'm used to but it is a lovely lovely shade and what I'll do is I'll just try and find a lip liner that will go with that okay so that's my lips lined let's go in with the lipstick in all honesty it's not really my colour but I actually quite like it. I would never use this colour normally. I'm not sure it goes with my eye look, but I actually quite like it. But what I'm going to do is I am going to go over it and just... Because I quite like a glossy lip, so I'm going to go over it with some kind of a topper and see how that looks. Okay, so I'm going to try this on top which was from my recent sale haul it's a revolution lip topper um, so I'm going to try this over the top and see what it looks like with a topper on it as I say I'm not 100% sure it goes with my eye look but I do really like it if you ignore my eyes I think it looks really nice I'm just not sure that it goes with the look I've got on today um, but yeah I definitely wear this lipstick um, with this topper on in fact on a sort of more uh, natural look the thing is this is a nude but because 
like my skin is quite pale and quite cool um, this is a very dark nude for me so it's not you know it doesn't sort of look natural like a natural lip color because my lips are very pale I think I'll change this um, before I go out I'll change my lip color but yeah this is the overall look and overall I'm pleased with it I really like it um, so yeah um, so that was my review absolutely get the eyeshadow palette if you want it um the colors are really really pigmented um it went on well on the eyes and it was so easy to blend as well the highlighter this particular one is very very glittery um so it's kind of i don't know whether you can still see it i've been swatching lip liners to find a matching one but ah uh, there can you see the glitter it is very very glittery so if you're not into a really glittery highlighter it's definitely not the highlighter for you however if you like a glittery highlighter it is a stunning glittery highlighter if that makes sense and the lipstick I like it um, it's not my usual colour it's a bit darker but I like it and it felt nice on the lips if it's your colour I think you would absolutely love it it was sort of the more toned down version of the um, collection because there's a lot of bright colours in there and I'm definitely not sort of a, a blue lipstick kind of a girl um, especially when I always wear really colourful eyes I think colourful eyes and colourful lips on me doesn't look right but on other people it can look fantastic but yeah uh, thank you so much for watching if you did enjoy this video please do give me a thumbs up it really does help Comment down below if there's any sort of makeup brands or any sort of releases that you want me to try and I'll do my best to do that for you. But yeah, thank you so much for watching. Bye!